Have you ever wondered how the Great Smoky Mountains National Park got started? Hi, I'm Mike. Back in the 1920s, a young couple went out and visited Yellowstone National Park. When they got back home to the east, they wondered why they couldn't have a national park there. Well, they got to talking to some of their influential friends. That's where it all started. I'm Brittany. The, most of the land that makes up the national park was privately owned, primarily by logging and pulpwood companies. The hard part was getting enough contributions to purchase the land. The money was finally raised, and in 1934, after 10 years of fundraising, over 515,000 acres officially became the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and was dedicated by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Here in the Great Smokies, we have come together to dedicate these mountains and streams and forests, the thousands of them, to the service of the millions of American people. During the next hour, we're going to show you some highlights of the Smokies. Some fun things to see and do while you're here. So, sit back, relax, fasten your seatbelt. Here we go. Vroom! That's like fast. When you go, vroom, like that. Ain't that right, Dave? Vroom! See? Okay, well, I'm late for something. Bye! What's the fondue effect at the melting pot? It's hard to describe. Let's start with the actual word. Fondue. Fondue. It just sounds fun. And the menu isn't like menus in other restaurants. So just as fast as you can dip a piece of French bread into a pot of melting cheesy yumminess, your daily routine is melted away right along with it. Yep, this is no everyday restaurant. Welcome to the melting pot. Welcome to the fondue effect. For reservations, call 865-430-4430. Part of the pleasure of being on vacation is staying at a place that's comfortable and offers all the amenities. A place where you can relax and forget about everything life throws your way. Somewhere with enough elbow room so you don't feel like you're staying in an oversized closet. A location that's situated back in nature and yet only a few steps away from all the action. Sounds a little too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, it's true. Park Place Condos, Gatlinburg. Hey, you know why bears are large, black, and hairy? No, why? Because if they were small, round, and white, they'd be eggs. The one thing that everybody wants to see when they're in the park is a black bear. There's about 1,500 black bears that call the Smokies home, and seeing one out in the wild can be quite a treat. But just remember, as cute as they are, you can't walk up and pet one. What you need to do if you run up on a bear is increase the distance between you and him. Back slowly away, that makes him a little more comfortable. Now, if he were to show signs of aggression, like a strong stare or popping his teeth or swatting the ground, then you need to show him you're in charge by standing your ground and making a lot of noise. In most cases, if you increase the distance between you and the bear, he'll probably say, okay, now we're good. We've all heard the phrase, do not feed the bears. 
it couldn't be said any better than that right there. Do not feed the bears. If you do, the bears start losing their fear of humans and start associating humans with the reward of food. When that happens, it usually ends in the death of the bear. So please, do not feed the bears. So what would you actually do if you walked right up on a bear? Run like a scared monkey. No, no, no. That's what you just said not to do. What would you do? Well, I'd stand my ground and go, grrr, grrr, grrr. Whoa, scared me. I can be ferocious. You know what a lot of grown-ups are missing? Playtime. Taking a break from the everyday and hitting the playground for no other reason than to have fun. And when it's time to recharge, well, there's all kinds of goodies. Then it's back to fun. Yeah, grown-ups need more playtime. Harris Cherokee Casino Resort features your favorite games, including blackjack, roulette, craps, and the hottest slot machines. Plus over 1,000 hotel rooms, the Essence Lounge, and restaurants ranging from casual to upscale. Not to mention a 3,000 seat entertainment venue and the luxurious Mandara Spa. So go all in for fun at Harris Cherokee Casino Resort. Come out and play. sun goes down, ain't this a lonesome place? When the sun goes down, ain't this a lonesome place? It's lonesome when I can't see my baby's face. Sure, you want to stay in a nice place while you're here in the Smokies. You also want to stay where there's lots of amenities, like indoor and outdoor pools, a restaurant, rooms right on a trout stream, a facility for meetings and reunions. Sure, you want to stay in a nice place with lots of amenities. Well, here you go. The Sydney James Mountain Lodge, Airport Road, Gatlinburg. Are you hungry for some falling off the bone barbecue? Well, come to Hungry Bear Barbecue at the Blue House. The best pulled pork, chicken, and ribs are slow cooked and savory. The Blue Store is located at 490 East Parkway, Gatlinburg. Visit our second location at Greenbrier. Hikers and families love our takeout picnic packs, featuring the very popular Kate's Cove Sausage. Enjoy fast, friendly service and discover why everyone loves Hungry Bear. Rawr! Hey, here's where we could all stay. Um, that's a funeral home. Oh, we don't want to stay there. How about, hey, how about this? And that's an apartment complex. Can, can, can I see your phone? Sure. Okay. There, room's booked. Wow, that was quick. Does my room have a hot tub? Yeah, it's right next to the heart-shaped bed and there's mirrors on the ceiling. Oh, man, that's great. One of the first things you have to consider when you're planning a vacation or a weekend getaway is lodging. Now here in the Smokies, there's quite a few options. A lot of people will say, oh, we'll just get someplace when we get there. Well, that's one way of doing it. 
Another way is to get on the internet and look at hotels and motels. Now there's some that overlook the main drag in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, and others overlook the area rivers. There's a lot of options. But for example, if you and your wife or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or partner or whatever are planning to travel with another couple, you might want to look at splitting the bill and getting a cabin or a condo. Let's say a motel room costs $75 a night. So, you and your friends get two motel rooms. That's $150 a night. Now, for the same amount of money, you probably could have gotten a cabin or a condo. Most all cabins have hot tubs, a pool table, a kitchen, and a lot more room. Not to mention, most cabins are located out in the middle of nowhere, so you've got that peaceful and private thing going on. Another consideration is family reunions, corporate functions, spiritual retreats, that sort of thing where the whole group wants to hang out together. Well, get this. There are cabins right here that have 18 bedrooms. Did she say 18 bedrooms? I believe she did. So, having said all that, there's yet one more consideration. And that is, if you're staying in a cabin, chances are good you don't have a swimming pool. Now, kids love a swimming pool. Also, if you're staying in a motel or hotel, that puts you a lot closer to the action, if that's where you want to be. Now, if you'd like for your trip to the Smokies to be a little more enjoyable, stop and ask yourself, where would I like to live for a few days? And while you're browsing for lodging, check us out at visitorsinfotv.com. On the World Wide Net Web. If you'd like a traditional country breakfast, here's what you do. Start out with fluffy, made-from-scratch buttermilk pancakes. Maybe try out a flavor you've never had before. Or a skillet breakfast. An omelet, country ham, or pork chops. If you'd like a traditional country breakfast, Flapjacks. Six locations right here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Hey, we appreciate you joining us here on the Visitor's Information Channel, and we'd love to hear from you. This is our email address. Underneath that's our website, where you'll find a lot more videos about great places to visit in the Mountain South. You can also check us out on your tube. No, that's YouTube. Who's my tube? No, YouTube. Who, whose tube? Your tube. I said your tube. Oh, forget it. We're also on Face page. Tell someone you saw a blue moose. When they say, really? Just say, yeah. Then start talking about things like jumbo wings and 16 flavors and killer hot dogs. When they start looking at you funny, mention something about how you love having a variety of beers. Then ask them if they knew 20 televisions could cover all the ball games. When they say, what are you talking about? Just say, there's a blue moose in Pigeon Forge. They'll probably just run off screaming. That might be a little hot. You gotta stop and smell the roses. Smell. Whoa, take it off. Can you shoot some of these flies? No, it's way too much trouble. Just let them go barefooted. There's over 800 miles of hiking trails here in the Great Smoky Mountains, ranging anywhere from easy to difficult. And you can take anything from a half hour walk to a week long backpacking trip. Some of the hiking trails in this area will take you by some pretty majestic waterfalls. For example, the Trillium Gap Trail. You'll find this trail right off the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail in Gatlinburg. It's a moderate hike that's 2.6 miles round trip. You'll walk through a forest of hemlocks and end up at Grotto Falls. What makes Grotto Falls distinctive is it's the only waterfall in the park you can actually walk behind.
Another good hiking trail where you get rewarded with a waterfall at the end of the trail is the Laurel Falls Trail. Now the Laurel Falls Trail is the first trail you'll come to on Little River Road, which is the road that runs in front of Sugarland Visitor Center. Two good things about this trail are, while it's a little rough, it is paved, which opens it up to baby strollers and wheelchairs. The other good thing is, you end up at a breathtaking 60-foot waterfall. This trail is also only 2.6 miles round trip, but if you walk just past the waterfalls, you'll find yourself in what's called an old growth forest. This is where years ago, loggers couldn't cut timber because they had no way to get the logs out. Consequently, you'll see some enormous trees here. If you'd like to get a little more aggressive, then there's the Abrams Falls Trail, which is five miles round trip. Abrams Creek is the largest stream in the park, and when all that water goes over the falls, it drops into one of the largest natural pools in the Smokies. Now to get to Abrams Falls, head out to Cades Cove and look for an unpaved side road between signpost 10 and 11. There's lots of other good hiking trails, too many to mention here, but another good type of trail to look for are the loop trails. We'll tell you a little more about those later on in the show. To get more information about all the various hiking trails around here, either go to one of the local outfitters or stop in Sugarlands Visitor Center. Okay. And go. Here's where you'll find brochures and books that'll tell you everything you need to know about hiking in the Smokies. Okay, hold it and cut. Okay. All right. High atop Beach Mountain with its breathtaking scenery and endless outdoor activities is a resort that will take your getaway to the next level. The Pinnacle Inn Resort not only has comfortable rooms with fireplaces and mountain views, but more amenities than you can imagine. Take for example, a beautiful indoor heated pool along with four hot tubs, a weight room, a steam room and dry sauna. Enjoy indoor activities like playing pool, ping pong or video games. Outdoor activities include tennis, shuffleboard, putt-putt golf, grills and picnic areas, hiking trails, and a playground, all on the grounds of the Pinnacle Inn Resort. And as if that's not enough, there's shuttle service to Ski Beach in the winter and planned activities for guests and owners in the summer. So take your next vacation to a higher level, the Pinnacle Inn Resort on Beach Mountain. You can be whatever you want to be. Be a race car driver. Be a fighter pilot. Be a mighty hunter. Be a hockey player. Be an explorer. Be a winner. You can be whatever you want to be at Arcade City, Big Top, and Rockin' Raceway in Pigeon Ford. And that's one reason they call it the Great Smoky Mountains. So, check back with us when you're back here and so. Wow, you ought to be on TV. I thought we were. Let's take a break and get some to eat. All right. So where do you want to go? Oh gosh, let's see. How about flapjacks? Well, it's a little past breakfast, but their breakfast is killer good. Oh, yes it is. Or we could go to TGI Fridays. Well, there's an idea. Everything they serve up is lip smacking good. Oh yeah. Or, or how about Corky's barbecue? Oh, I've had their barbecue. It is out of this world. Oh, man, it so is. How about Golden Corral? Well, there's another idea. For one price, we can get as much as we want of whatever we want. Or, or, we could go to the melting pot. Ooh, that is dining on a whole new level. Oh, it sure is. Man, you take the long fork thingy and cook your shrimp and filet mignon and everything right there at the table. 
I think I'm starting to salivate. Ew. Hey, let's go to Quaker Steak and Lube. We're talking about getting something to eat and you want to get an oil change? No, follow me. By the way, it's oil, not oil. Now this is Quaker Steak and Lube. Whoa. What'd you think? Oh man, this place is great. And all those other places are great that, that we talked about earlier are, are great also. Boy, you have quite the way with words. You gonna eat that? favorite things to do here in the Smokies is go shopping. Now while I'm supposed to be out working, I can't help stopping now and then to see what might lie inside this establishment that continues to call my name. Ooh. The great thing about shopping here in the mountains is you're going to find whatever it is you're looking for. As a matter of fact, you're going to find things you never even knew existed. There can never be too many outlet malls and there's quite a few of them around here the beauty of outlet malls you can get brand name stuff at a considerable discount mm -mm -mm, love me some discounts now to step outside of the commercial corridors there's a place outside of Gatlinburg called the arts and crafts community out here there's a very talented group of artists and craftspeople that offer up their creations and the art you'll find is one of a kind handmade right here in the smoke <laughs> Here's a little bit of a twist on shopping. If you're a wine lover, you can take what's called the Rocky Top Wine Trail. There's five wineries within 12 miles of each other. You can enjoy a wine tasting and sample some of the finest wines the Mountain South has to offer. All that shopping's made me hungry. And that's the great part about Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge and Survival. You're not going to run out of options for that either. There's everything from steak and seafood houses to Chinese to Mexican to Italian to a lot more. You can go anywhere from hamburger to fine dining. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Working a crossword puzzle here. What's a nine letter word meaning to do or say again? Reiterate. Okay. What's a nine letter word that means to do or say again? Reiterate. You're not getting this, are you? Believe me, I get it. We'll be right back. to be had in Cherokee, North Carolina. And it's a lot closer than you might think. Look what I found on Highway 321 in Gatlinburg on the way to the arts and crafts community. This is the best meal I ever had. Welcome to Three Jimmies from the Three Jimmies. Bring your friends, bring your family, but most of all, bring your appetite. At Three Jimmies, you'll experience homemade entrees prepared with pride. We have award-winning wings, mouth-watering ribs, savory prime rib, fresh local trout, melt-in-your-mouth pulled pork, world-class artisan pizza, and hamburgers that were voted the best in town, and more. This is the best we've ever had. Lounge on our patio 
or relax at the bar and enjoy entertainment that includes open mic nights, karaoke, family trivia nights, and dance music with live bands. Three Jimmies, the best you've ever had. Plug me, Devin. One line! Yay! One line. Here's Johnny. I'm getting out of here. You need to get more exercise. You should do more hiking. You need to get off my case. And hiking is a great way to see the Smokies. You've said so yourself. Another great way to see the Smokies is riding down the highway. But you don't get any exercise. What if I've got to walk to the car, we probably get out and take some pictures, I'll have to walk to the bathroom maybe. Pooh, I'm tired already. Without question, one of the best places to visit in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is Cades Cove. Now what is Cades Cove, you ask? It's an 11 mile auto tour that takes you through a very scenic valley where you'll see wildlife like you've never seen it before. It's kind of like being on a safari in the comfort of your own car. To get there, take Little River Road, which is the road that runs in front of Sugarland's Visitor Center, and follow it for about 30 minutes and voila, you're there! Cades Cove is the best place for the opportunity to see deer, fox, bear, wild turkeys, coyotes, the list goes on and on. You'll also drive past old settlements, churches, and a grist mill that dates back to the early 1800s. The best time to see wildlife in Cades Cove is early morning and late afternoon, but keep in mind during the peak season there's going to be a lot of traffic and they're going to be moving slow because they don't want to miss seeing any wildlife, just like the rest of us. Where else could we ride through nature because we don't want to get any exercise you may be asking? Well, there's another looping auto tour called the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail is a five-mile one-way auto tour that also takes you past old settlements like the Bud Ogle Farm. You'll also drive by some pretty impressive waterfalls and a few good hiking trails. Where is this wonderful Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail I speak of? Well, you simply drive into Gatlinburg and turn onto Historic Nature Trail Airport Road. It's the same road, they just couldn't figure out what to name it. And you go straight, that's all you gotta remember. Historic Nature Trail Airport Road. And there's not an airport there. I still don't understand that one. If you're a steak lover, I can assure you nothing beats hand-cut, aged, grand champion Angus beef, grilled to perfection. If you're a seafood lover, I can assure you if it's delivered fresh daily and prepared correctly, it's going to be as tasty as it gets. Pair these with a fine wine, and I can assure you, it doesn't get any better than this. Bullfish Grill. No bull, just great food. watching the visitors channel and we want to thank you kindly you can brush a horse hug a cow rub a pig's tummy the gentle barn is host to birthday parties corporate events private tours and a variety of special programs visit or get involved today learn more at gentlebarn.org so dave 
What did you plan on doing with a 40-foot neon parrot in the first place? Well, see, the idea was... What did you... I don't even want to know. Okay, so you're on vacation here in the Smokies, and you're looking for things to do. Well, I can assure you, you're not going to run out of things to do. Of course, the Smoky Mountains National Park is the number one attraction. Outside of that, there's Dollywood, the island, theaters, zip lines, go-karts, mini golf, the list goes on and on. In the last few years, zip lines have become extremely popular, but they actually date back to the early 1700s where, in mountainous areas, they were used to get across rivers. Today, they're mainly used for fun. You get all strapped in and you go screaming down a long cable through the woods. It's a good way to take in the great outdoors real quick. After you've had a fun-filled day of adventure, the next best thing you can do is have a nice dinner and take in a show. Or, better yet, go to a dinner show and kill two birds with one stone. The theaters around here rival anything you're gonna see anywhere. There's everything from song and dance to comedy to arenas filled with large-scale productions. The rates at all the theaters are reasonable and there's coupons floating around all over town that will save you a few bucks. Everyone enjoys mini golf. This game's been around since the early part of the 20th century. Actually, the first standardized mini golf course opened in 1916 in Pinehurst, North Carolina. The game was revolutionized in 1922 when Thomas Fairbairn formulated a suitable artificial green, what we know today as outdoor carpet. What makes mini golf in the Smokies so unique is that most courses here are very interactive. There's characters that move, tricky shots, and every hole is completely different. So, in summation, you ain't never going to run out of something to do here in the Smokies. And to see videos of more things you can do while you're here, check out our website at visitorsinfotv.com. Also, check us out on Face page. Facebook. Facebook. Hey, guess what's new? Dixie Stampede. Now, I know you're saying Dixie Stampede's not new. Ah, but it is. Wait till you see it now. It's a whole new adventure. Hey, we're here with Mountain Ruckus. They do a pre-show here at Dixie Stampede. And this is Gary Davis, better known as Biscuit, also known as a four-time national championship Banjo contest winner. That's is, right. Is that about right? That sounds good. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Right. Biscuit, tell us a little bit about the pre-show. Well, uh, we're a three-piece bluegrass band, and we get in there cutting up a ruckus, having a big old time, getting everybody fired up and ready to have a big time with us. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. Uh, how about you guys pick one, and I'll jump out and just listen. Sounds great, man. <laughs> Dusty, you do what's called Roman riding. Now, exactly what is Roman riding? Roman riding is a very unique style of horseback riding where I'm gonna be standing atop these two horses. I'm gonna have one foot on each horse. We're gonna come in this arena and we're gonna showcase the trust and relationship between myself and these two by performing a bunch of exciting maneuvers. And we finish the act with our amazing finale where we jump through the ring of fire. Jay, who's your partner here? This is Athena. She is the great, great, great granddaughter of Silver, the Lone Ranger's horse. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Beautiful animal. Jay, the Dixie Stampede Adventure just keeps getting better and better and better. 
And I've noticed that now technology is really playing a big role in it. Absolutely. We've done a two and a half million dollar renovation to our theater this year. It's the single biggest investment they've put into the property since we opened in 1988. Wow. So, of course, the main part of that is the, uh, the LED wall that's right behind us here, mm -hmm. as you see. And uh, the coolest thing about that is we can integrate it throughout the show and take our guests from New York Harbor to the Smoky Mountain National Park to the plains of Kansas to the Rocky Mountains all the way to the West oh. Coast. And they get to kind of take that journey with us throughout the course of the show. So, That's great. Yeah. So, guess what's new in the Smokies? Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede. It's a whole new adventure. For over 35 years, the folks at the Log Cabin Pancake House have been serving up the best breakfast and lunch you'll find anywhere in the Appalachian Mountains. When you order breakfast, you can count on everything being homemade, from our six different pancake batters to scratch-made biscuits. Lunch consists of an all-you-can-eat buffet that includes a salad bar, homemade soups, good old southern dishes like fried chicken, meatloaf, or home-style steak and gravy, fresh vegetables, hot rolls, and dessert. Visit the Log Cabin Pancake House on Airport Road in Gatlinburg and at traffic light number 10 in Pigeon Forge. Tanger Outlets is where you'll find Direct Tools, offering name brand power tools and accessories direct from the manufacturer at prices up to 75% off. It's a do-it-yourselfer and professional's dream come true. You'll find both new and certified pre-owned tools and equipment and a lot more at Direct Tools, located at Tanger Outlets in Sevierville. Hey baby, did you get that letter? If you take me back, well I'll treat you better. Nobody business but mine. Ain't nobody's dirty how my baby treats me Nobody's business but my own <laughs> While you're here in the mountains, why not take a beautiful drive to Townsend, Tennessee? And while you're here, be sure and visit Apple Valley Country Stores, where you'll find quite a collection of down-home goodies. Then, go next door to the Apple Valley Cafe and enjoy a hearty breakfast or delicious lunch. Then top off your trip to Townsend with dinner at the Dancing Bear Appalachian Bistro. A casually upscale restaurant, serving recipes of the region handed down from generation to generation. It doesn't get any fresher than coming straight from the farm to the table. So come join us on the quiet side of the Smokies. We always like to keep our lovely viewing audience aware of what's new in the Smokies, so we decided to produce this feature and call it What's New in the Smokies. We're clever like that. Now I know you're probably sitting there asking yourself, hmm, I wonder what's new in the Smokies? Well, there's this place called the island. I know some of you may have seen this gigantic, well, what we used to call Ferris wheel, and that's part of the island, but that's only a part of it. There's restaurants, arcades, a dancing fountain, a top drawer hotel, and a wonderful collection of shops like these. One place you have to visit while you're on the island is the Sweet Shop of the South. You'll love their award-winning gourmet desserts including cupcakes, cheesecakes, pound cakes, and cookies, in addition to homemade southern style soups, salads, and sandwiches. That's the Sweet Shop of the South. Sweet! Welcome to International Flair, the Pandora store on the island in Pigeon Forge. In addition to our unique jewelry collections, we design and create exclusive Smoky Mountain beads for your bracelets that you can't get anywhere else. Come as a customer and leave as a friend. 
There's all that and so much more here on the island. You could spend a day or four just wandering around here having fun. So you need to put the island on your bucket list. It's right off the parkway, Pigeon Forge. And that's what's new in the Smokies. Savor the flavor of authentic mountain dining in the Smokies at the Timberwood Grill. Here's where you'll enjoy everything from our legendary half-pound burgers to aged USDA choice steaks, ribs, salmon, and a whole lot more. So do yourself a favor and savor the flavor of the Timberwood Grill at the island in Pigeon Forge. Your grandfather brought your father. Your father brought you. Now you're a dad. See it again through your children's eyes. The wonder of Cherokee. Ayoli. Immerse them in the 11,000-year-old Cherokee story with priceless ancient artifacts and life-sized figures. Watch their eyes grow wider with computer-generated imagery. Rediscover long-lost oohs and ahs with authentic artwork and dioramas. Show your little warriors the real thing. Come away feeling a little closer to our heritage and each other. The next stop on your learning journey takes you to the oldest and leading Native American cooperative in the country, the Koala Arts and Crafts Mutual. Step into the permanent gallery and bear witness to the legendary craftsmanship in our collection of authentic Cherokee artifacts. Then stroll into the art gallery and enjoy 21st century Cherokee artwork you just might find a perfect piece of handmade history and heritage to take home. Oginali. Once you are at the village, you will see it's more than just a place. It's also a time. 1760, as you step into the Okanalefti Indian Village, you're transported back to witness the challenges of Cherokee life at a time of rapid cultural change. Okana Lefty showcases a living culture as they use ancient techniques to hull canoes, make pottery and masks, weave baskets and beadwork, and participate in their daily activities. In season, round out your Cherokee experience by taking in an outdoor drama that the Wall Street Journal called splendidly authentic, Unto These Hills. It's one of the only dramas in the world where the story is told by the descendants of those that the story is about. The drama traces the Cherokee people through the zenith of their power, through the heartbreak of the Trail of Tears, finally ending where the Cherokee people continue to rewrite their place in the world. No Nogadonella. In the Cherokee culture, there's no word for goodbye. Instead, they say, we will meet again. So whether you're planning your first trip or it's become a family tradition, you are always welcome to share the wonder that is Cherokee. Imagine shopping in a 40,000 square foot old time general store. We like to think if we ain't got it, you don't need it. Three Bears General Store, traffic light number four, Pigeon Forge. Oh, and we also have a live bear habitat. What about that? Everyone knows that food just tastes better in the great outdoors. What makes the meat here at Bones Barbecue Joint the best barbecue in the Smoky Mountains? Well, Sarah, we slow cook all our meat on 100% real wood, and that's what gives that smoky, savory flavor. Smoked wings and ice-cold beer keep the locals and visitors coming back time and time again. Try our fresh homemade meals, such as Billy Bob's Rib Dinner, or sink your teeth into a Big Bear Burger. Enjoy fast, friendly service and discover why everyone loves Bones Barbecue Joint. Our takeout picnics are a favorite of hikers and families visiting the park. Look for us across from the Gatlinburg Convention Center. Bones Barbecue Joint. Make no bones about it. Y'all come see us. Country Tonight has been voted the best show in the Smokies over and over again. And with good reason. Here's where you see some of the finest talent in the area performing the best in country music. Singing, dancing, and comedy you'll be talking about for years to come. So if you're gonna see a show, why not see the best at Country Tonight? We're all going country tonight. 
got to have money. What are you doing? I don't know. We don't have any money. Just going to call your bank and be like, this joker wants $100. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm approved. And in like right. two hours, he'll have 40 bucks left and go, where do I want to go? Hey, Mike, you going to go hiking? Yep. I was thinking about taking the Appalachian Trail all the way to Maine. How long is that going to take? I plan to be there by next Friday. All the way to Maine? All the way to Maine. Is that what you're taking? Yeah. It's kind of small. What are you, you going to eat? I'm going to camp out at restaurants. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see you when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It goes without saying, the best way to see the Great Smoky Mountains is to do it on foot. We mentioned earlier some good trails to check out are the loop trails. This way you're always seeing something new. Because it's a loop, you never pass the same thing twice. One really nice loop trail is only a half mile past Sugarlands Visitor Center. It's called the Sugarlands Valley Nature Trail. This half mile long loop trail is paved, which makes it ideal for baby strollers and wheelchairs. It's a real easy, nice, and level walk, and along the way, you'll see a number of nature exhibits, old home sites, and the very picturesque Little Pigeon River. Another really good loop trail in the Smokies is the Cucumber Gap Loop. It's a five and a half mile hike that's considered easy because there's no hills. Along the way, you'll see lots of wildflowers and a beautiful stretch of the Little River. To get to the Cucumber Gap Loop, take Little River Road in front of the Sugarlands Visitor Center and drive about four and a half miles to the Elkmont Campground. Just before the entrance to the campground, take a left and go to the Little River Trailhead. Just like we mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to go by an Outfitters or the Sugarlands Visitor Center to get the best information on all the hiking trails in the Smokies. I thought you were on your way to Maine. Oh, I was. I got a rock in my shoe. Well, is it still in there? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to the car and get it out. Well, why don't you take it out now? Sometimes I feel so sorry for him. Hey, David, you want to go to lunch? Sure, let's go. Okay. Sure, you want to stay in a nice place while you're here in the Smokies. You also want to stay where there's lots of amenities, like indoor and outdoor pools, a restaurant, rooms right on a trout stream, a facility for meetings and reunions. Sure, you want to stay in a nice place with lots of amenities. Well, here you go. The Sydney James Mountain Lodge, Airport Road, Gatlinburg. Look what I found on Highway 321 in Gatlinburg on the way to the arts and crafts community. It's the best meal I ever had. Welcome to Three Jimmies from the Three Jimmies. Bring your friends, bring your family, but most of all, bring your appetite. At Three Jimmies, you'll experience homemade entrees prepared with pride. We have award-winning wings, mouth-watering ribs, savory prime rib, fresh local trout, melt-in-your-mouth pulled pork, world-class artisan pizza, and hamburgers that were voted the best in town, and more. This is the best we've ever had. Lounge on our patio or relax at the bar and enjoy entertainment that includes open mic nights, karaoke, family trivia nights, and dance music with live bands. Three Jimmies, the best you've ever had.
hurry down to the dress shop Get the one looks best Your own pretty mama She wants a brand new dress Hurry home, sweet papa And don't you take your time If you wait too long Sweet mama will be gone You can get coupons for discounts on all sorts of things in the Smokies by simply picking up a copy of the Best Read Guide. You can also print out coupons from home by going to SmokyMountainsCoupons.com. Use any mobile device and scan the QR codes in the Best Read Guide and see a video, get coupons, and more information. Now how cool is that? At Corky's, our aim is to serve the finest Memphis-style hickory smoked ribs and barbecue you'll find anywhere in the world. Our dry rub and special sauce will make you swear that Beale Street is just around the corner and Corky's is right smack in the middle of hog heaven. I'm David Thompson and I'm the camera guy. Uh, anybody got any ideas on a piece we could do just specifically about the Great Smoky Mountains? How about trees? Good idea, David. Then we can do a second piece about bushes. Oh, I have an idea. What about the history of the Great Smoky Mountains? Don't you think people would enjoy hearing the story behind the park? I think you're right. I usually am. Or, how about trees? There's a lot of interesting history to be found here in the Great Smoky Mountains. For example, these are considered to be the oldest mountains in the world. Around 250 million years ago, Africa and North America collided. This caused the rock to shift upward, creating the Appalachian Mountains. We know humans lived here 11,000 years ago, possibly longer. It seems a group of Iroquois Indians migrated south from the New England area and settled in various places around the southern Appalachian Mountains. And as time moved on, they became known as the Cherokee. With the abundance of wildlife and their development of agriculture, the Cherokee were, for the most part, living the good life. Then around 1540, the Europeans showed up. Well, there goes the neighborhood. By the late 18th century, European settlers began to show up here in large numbers. The two sides made an effort to get along, but when you put two totally different cultures together, you're going to have problems. Attempts were made to settle disagreements by drawing up treaties and establishing legal code. Well, none of this worked. Then in 1828, gold was discovered in North Georgia. Well, this changed everything. The European attitude was, let's don't let them get the gold. Two years later, President Andrew Jackson signed the Removal Act and the Cherokee Nation was relocated to what is now Oklahoma and their journey became known as the Trail of Tears. While the law stated all Cherokee must move west, we all know not everybody obeys the law. In this case, there was a handful of Cherokee that hid way back in the Smokies and somehow managed to survive. Then in 1889, the Kuala Indian Reservation was established. Now, what happened after that? is coming up right after this. Mellow Mushroom is more than just pizza and beer. We want to provide you with an experience filled with colorful art, eclectic music, and food that comforts your soul. Whether you opt for our hand-tossed pizza, baked subs, or yummy munchies, you'll enjoy a vibe so cool you'll have to come back for more. Mellow Mushroom, it's all good. Stop and think about this. For a little more than you'd pay for a motel room, you could be staying in one of Antebellum's cabins. If you share the tab with family and friends, you could end up paying far less than you would for a motel room. Also, when you check into Antebellum's, you get a free pass to a number of major attractions every day of your stay. Add all that up and, well, there's not a lot more to think about. Sunshine. 
Sunshine, and you're watching the Visitor's Channel, and we want to thank you kindly. You know, I'm pretty sure that I'm 116th Cherokee Indian. With the last name Abernathy? No, I, I think you're Scottish. You got something against Scottish Indians? From the late 1700s and on into the 1800s, quite a few pioneers had moved into the Smokies. Because they had to have houses, furniture, fences, barns, and fuel, logging played an important role. If they were going to have anything at all outside of a garden, it had to come from a tree. Think about it. You live in a forest, what do you got? Trees. By the mid-1800s, folks started longing for a profit, but it didn't really grow into a big business because getting the timber out of these mountains was quite a chore. I mean, honey, one mule can only drag so many logs. By the turn of the century, this logs for money idea began to change. The demand for lumber in the east was growing like wildfire, and someone was smart enough to say, hey, let's run a railroad back into these mountains. That, of course, made getting a large number of logs out of the mountains much easier. While the Smoky Mountains were a gold mine for timber, it didn't take long for the logging companies to strip these mountains bare. The only sections of forest that were overlooked were the ones that were just too hard to get to. We now call these old growth forests. This is an area where some trees are so big, it takes four or five people to reach around one. Now that's a big tree. So, the Smokies are bare, there's no work here, people are leaving to find employment elsewhere, and this breathtakingly beautiful portion of the eastern United States lies in limbo. Then, in 1904, a librarian named Horace Kephart from St. Louis came to the Smokies and was so moved by the fact that all the timber was being stripped from these mountains, he decided to make a difference. He started promoting the idea of the Smokies becoming a national park. In the 1920s, some prominent people in Knoxville picked up on the idea and began raising money to purchase the land. Donations came in from everywhere, including a hefty $5 million from John D. Rockefeller. The money was finally raised to purchase the 515,000 acres that make up the park, and in 1934, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, in a dedication, announced that this area is now the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And now that we've learned our history lesson, let's go have some fun. I'm Sam Venable from the Knoxville News Sentinel, speaking on behalf of Appalachian Bear Rescue. Do you know black bears have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years? Bears that rely on humans for food aren't so lucky. These panhandler bears often only live half that long. If you're in an area bears call home, make sure you don't leave any food out and pick up your trash. Keep our beloved black bears safe. Don't feed them. For more information, go to abrtn.org. Hey, thanks for watching the Visitor's Channel. We hope we've been able to give you some good information about this area. And you've heard from us, now we want to hear from you. Let us know what you think of our program or simply say hello. We've got a lot more videos about the Mountain South on our website. And of course, you can always check us out on YouTube and Facebook. This cabin needs to get its nails done. Black bears are wild, and sometimes their behavior can be unpredictable. Like me. Like David, uh... you wild man. I need some Crocs. Not right this second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe later. <laughs>
In late April, you're gonna love Gatlinburg's Rib Fest. Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies is the stunning backdrop for a tasting party. Sample award-winning ribs from the area's finest restaurants and amateur chefs. With a fly. Sure. Now in mid-May, you'll have to in mid-May, you'll have to catch the annual Bloomin' Barbecue and Bluegrass Festival in downtown Sevierville. Here you'll enjoy the Tennessee State Barbecue Championship, heavy duty, bluegrass concerts, fabulous food, and authentic mountain crafts. Gatlinburg hosts the first fourth parade in the nation every year. Bring a chair out on the evening of the third, and when the clock strikes 12 and it's officially July 4th, you'll enjoy lighted floats, marching bands, and big ol' helium balloons. Miss me. That one almost went on the ground. Several times a year, Gatlinburg offers the Gatlinburg Craftsman's Fair. Peruse over 200 booths featuring some of the nation's finest work. The artisans will be on hand to demonstrate their skills, answer your questions, and sell you a unique piece of work. What could be better? Live bluegrass and country music. Snorky. Snorky. For two weeks every August, Pigeon Forge honors the millions of men and women who served in the armed forces with its annual Celebrate Freedom observance. The patriotic festivities include speakers forums, canteen dances, parades, musicals, and a military book fair. In late September is the annual Taste of Autumn. Sample the area's finest restaurants and homemade desserts for a United Way of Sevier County benefit event. Enjoy live entertainment, a benefit auction, and door prizes for a wonderful countywide cause. The annual Smoky Mountain Harvest Festival is a countywide celebration of fall spectacular colors with craft shows, sidewalk sales, live entertainment, and a decoration competition. In early November, Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge and Sevierville get into the holiday spirit with dazzling light displays, seasonal music, holiday entertainment, and trolley tours of all the twinkling lights. It's called Winterfest, and Gatlinburg knows how to kick it all off. They do it with a chili cook-off at Ripley's Aquarium. Grab a spoon and taste award-winning chilies as the town of Gatlinburg flips the switch to light the town up. Well, that covers the highlights, but there's always something going on, so go do something. When you're traveling in the Smokies, wouldn't it be nice to have all the answers to your travel questions in the palm of your hand? Well, now you do. Become a fan of the Best Red Guide Smoky Mountains Facebook page. Submit your questions, and you'll have your answers in a timely fashion. Best Red Guide. Now you know. You can brush a horse, hug a cow, rub a pig's tummy. The General Barn is host to birthday parties, corporate events, private tours, and a variety of special programs. Visit or get involved today. Learn more at gentlebarn.org. Mellow Mushroom is more than just pizza and beer. We want to provide you with an experience filled with colorful art, eclectic music, and food that comforts your soul. Whether you opt for our hand-tossed pizza, baked subs, or yummy munchies, you'll enjoy a vibe so cool you'll have to come back for more. Mellow Mushroom, Traffic Light 2A Pigeon Forge, and Traffic Light 8 in Gatlinburg. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'd also like to thank all of our sponsors and all the people who helped us put this show together, including our tree-hugging hippie cameraman, David Thompson, our Knoxville rock climbing cameraman, Biff Farrell, and our sound guy all the way from Nashville, Alan Laney. Now, while it may appear that we know what we're doing, don't be fooled into thinking we always get our lines right. Take a look. Less than an hour away from where I am currently staying in the lodging unit, wherever I am, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to take a day trip, and now I don't remember my line. Another good real... <laughs> that was five seconds out of the gate. Another really good loop hike in the Smokies is the Cucumber Gap Loop. It's considered really easy because there's no hills, and I've already screwed it up again. Along the way, you'll see lots of wildflowers. Another good really... <laughs> <laughs> Another good really trail for looping. <laughs> Another really good loop trail in the Smokies is the Cucumber Gap Loop. It's a five and a half mile. That line! <laughs> Comments or congestions. I'll handle this. Right. Uh, if you're, I'll handle this. Yeah. Great, great <laughs> how good that was. There you go. We hope you're enjoying the show and listen. Uh, and listen. Promise not to tell. Ooh. So give us a call or send us an email at this address right down here. <laughs> All right, let's go. There's over 800 miles of hiking trails here in the Great Smokies, and you can take anything from it. No, wrong, 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 wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
What makes Grotto Falls distinctive? It's a, it, 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 it's 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 hubby Go. We mentioned no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, Mountains National Park. It's grown into the most visited park in the national park system. Something like that. To accommodate and entertain visitors from all over the world. And you can hear them now. And there they are. Show him you're in charge. Don't run. In most cases, in most cases. <laughs> Up next, some exciting events that happen in Saria. In Saria. And go. So just like we mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to stop at it. Idea came out kind of funny. Yeah. And I dare. The uh, black bear is the mascot for the Great Smoky Mountains. This majestic beast weighing it in, in weighing it in, oh weighing it in. Goodness. And our sound guy from Nashville, Alan Laney. And then I say something. <laughs> <laughs>